can't think of many scenarios more terrifying to an introvert who can't swim than the idea of being stranded on the ocean for a few weeks with a handful of complete strangers. Hey there, today I'm talking about the movie that for the past couple of years I've considered my third favorite Hitchcock movie, and that is Lifeboat from 1944. At the very beginning of this World War II era movie, a German U-boat sinks an allied ship. A small group of survivors, including crew members and passengers, struggles to safety aboard a solitary lifeboat. They will face the usual problems of how to deal with food and water shortages, storms, shipwreck-induced injuries, and a complete lack of direction. But, as if those problems aren't bad enough, add in the fact that one of the survivors turns out to be a German from the very U-boat that sank their ship in the first place. Suddenly the situation becomes a lot more tricky. What do you do with him? Do you treat him with fairness or with bitterness? Do you take the risk of trusting his advice, knowing that he's tried to kill you once and probably wouldn't mind trying to kill you again? There are a couple features of this movie that draw me in right off the bat, and if you've seen some of my other videos, then this will probably sound familiar to you because I know I've mentioned them before. First of all, this movie takes place entirely in one extremely isolated setting, the lifeboat. As he did later in Rear Window, Hitchcock creatively manipulated his sets and his cameras and his actors to give the impression that all of the action is really taking place in this one crowded lifeboat on the Atlantic Ocean. Second, it deals with a very small group of only nine characters with vastly different backgrounds and personalities forced together by circumstances. For some weird reason, I love plots like this, where people who have pretty much nothing in common, except maybe a destination, are forced into each other's spaces. I like to see how people, under this amount of stress, interact with each other and the different relationships that evolve, and the good or the bad that can come out of it as a result. And this movie has a great ensemble cast for generating this kind of tension, featuring Tallulah Bankhead, John Hodiak, William Bendix, and Walter Slezak. As days and then weeks start to go by, conflict and disagreements ebb and flow, tempers flare, alliances are made and broken, ethics are questioned, and people just in general start to completely unravel. Lifeboat survival stories is one of those sub-sub-sub-genres that I actually really enjoy, whether it's in a book or on the screen. Such an intense experience must change the individuals involved. It's impossible to come out of it the same way you went in, provided you come out of it at all. Oh, and as I said in the beginning of the review, if you're an introvert, or even just a part-time introvert, who doesn't know how to swim, this movie can be a little unsettling. It's not scary like some of Hitchcock's other movies, but there's something about the scenario that mm, is a little bit more possible or maybe a little bit more applicable for you. While it's pretty unlikely that you'll be murdered by a flock of seagulls or stuck in a place like Bates Motel, although just the same, I would avoid those things, it's not completely out of the realm of possibility that if you go out on the ocean, something bad could happen. And with that happy thought, thanks for watching! <laughs> now that I've reviewed my top three, future Hitchcock reviews will not be done in any order of preference or anything. It'll just be as I feel like it, um, as things come up. I do already know what the next one will be, and I can tell you this, it's pretty random. <laughs> we just happened to watch it, and I'm like, well, I'm doing this series, so I'll review it. Um... So until next time... <laughs>